what do you do after those 30 days? And that's my issue. You spent all this time making a habit out of these 30 day challenges, whatever 30 day challenge you did. And then afterwards you're like, I'm done, I did it. What, what is the point? Like why would you put yourself through 30 days of like implementing something in your life or removing something from your life and then just stop? That makes no sense to me. I completed a yoga with Adrian 30 day yoga challenge. I'm about to sit down for my first session for day one. If you don't know who yoga with Adrian is, she's one of the top YouTube yoga gurus. She has so many videos on like foundations of yoga. If you don't know about her, then you're behind because she has like 8 million followers. Home yoga challenge was really about coming back to yourself and rediscovering that and not having to discover it for the first time because it's all in us. And I do feel so many benefits, both physical and mental. It was easier than I thought, but also a lot harder than I thought because I had to be vulnerable. This was really emotional for me. I did not expect that. I just started crying. When you step onto the mat, it's just kind of a given that whatever comes up, you just have to acknowledge and like let it come to fruition. And I think that the Yoga with Adrian channel accepts that and promotes that. Like the important thing is that you just showed up. And I like that I can show up with whatever I'm carrying emotionally or physically and letting the practice kind of work through that by bringing your awareness back to your breath. I had tried one of her 30 day challenges before like a couple years ago, but I really can't get further than five or six days into it without giving up. Having this be just what I do for my workouts for 30 days, I think I'm hoping that I don't get bored, but maybe that will be like the mental challenge of it all in the end. I'm not that concerned about doing this to like lose weight or anything. I would like to gain strength, but I also would like to begin habits again pertaining to working out. I've always had a struggle like kind of working out, keeping like that active lifestyle. It's day five. I am really tired today. I'm not a quitter. It's day eight, so I've been officially doing this for one whole week. The excitement has worn off for sure. I know I like want that fit bod and whatever, but I didn't want to like go to the gym and pump iron. It's just like two or three hours of your day just from working out. And that was really discouraging me, but I found with yoga, it was focused more on like my mental health. And when I could focus my exercise more on my mental health and less about like my physique, I found such success and I was able to really stick with it. Adrian just really eases you into it. Like when you're holding a plank, when you're doing these really tough like core workouts and exercises, she makes it feel more like a, a mental challenge versus a physical one. If your mind is working too hard or your body's working too hard, like even though we were in these challenging positions, if you can just let go into it, you'll find that it's not as hard. And I realized that I can apply to multiple parts of my life. I have a hard time meditating and I've preached about meditating on my channel a couple times and there's so many benefits to it but it doesn't make it any easier to actually do the meditating. It was hard to get out of my head a little bit. My mind has just been so focused in the virtual world that coming back into my body actually was a little bit weird. I do have a long way to go but for me yoga has been a way of meditating and putting the breath with the movement, I feel like I get a similar benefit. So I consider my yoga practice both a meditation practice. In terms of habit building, 30 day challenges are wonderful because 21 days is the amount of days you need to like enforce a habit. And then after that, it becomes kind of natural. My body and mind started to crave it. And if it's that 30 day challenge that is what's gonna hold you accountable to actually do the thing every day for 30 days, then you need to find a way that works for you to do that afterwards. This is the first challenge where I feel like I could actually keep doing it. It's not like 30 days of no sugar or no coffee. Like eventually I know I would go back to that, but it's not like removing something from your life. You're adding something to it. I'm just really interested to see how far I can go with it. Like I was finally able to do crow for the first time. I'm still struggling with it, but I can feel the difference in my back. 
there's only a point to it if you're somehow gonna make it last after those 30 days and usually all the pros outweigh the cons so just leaving it forever after that i just think it's a huge missed opportunity that's the thing about 30 day challenges is what's the point unless you're gonna really implement them in your life you spend all this time and energy creating a habit and carving out time for yourself why would i go back to the way it was before so a lot of like the physical effects of doing this challenge i would wake up in the morning and i'd feel like my body would feel really good like you just notice in little moments when you're like oh i could lift that so much easier this time than last time it's just little satisfactions but you really didn't do much you just showed up on the mat for 30 minutes every day and it just took so little to get such a good benefit i do feel physically different but all of that ended up just being secondary I can breathe easier and when I'm in like situations where I'm frustrated I just find myself going to the deep breaths like first thing you know it just helps me blow off the steam in that way if I have this opportunity to make my life better and it's proven to me that it's so easy to do this and to invest this time while living your normal life my brain is a little mushy because I was editing all day but there's no reason not to do it if you haven't tried any of yoga with Adrian's yoga practices definitely definitely give it a try they're just really approachable ways to start moving your body and to get out of that like been sitting on a couch for quarantine for three months kind of like mindset and physique and it can be for everybody if you can't do the thing the movement like full out there are modifications that give you the same benefits just from a different posture she gives you absolutely no reason not to just show up exercising doesn't always have to be like that hardcore lifting 20 pound weights I don't know what you lift, but it doesn't have to be this like intense experience. I just feel a lot of gratitude for myself, for my body, and no matter what, just showing up. I proved to myself that I could do that, which is really cool. It's sad that it's over, and I think I'm going to do another one, another 30 day challenge, because I just don't want to say goodbye. But yeah, I feel nothing but gratitude for the experience. I'm really happy I did it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope you consider subscribing to see more of my videos. And if you do, also click that notification bell so you won't miss an upload every Tuesday and Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. I'm not wearing a sports bra, so hopefully I don't flash you guys. Oh, and I also started this after having eaten pumpkin curry. So at first I thought like, mm, this is gonna be rough. But at the end we did like a supine twist and Adrian even said like, this one's so good for your digestive system and then I feel like I needed a fart. So I'd say that worked.